Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tip video, I want to go over everything you need to do to grow your own sweet potato slips. A couple things are important. Sweet potatoes tend to start putting out their vines, their greenery, when they want to. Today's April 16th. The sweet potato in here was put into a shallow seed starting tray. I'll go over that in a second. On February 9th, I've been cutting vines off of there and they're actually in the water right now. These were put in on December 22nd. Took a lot longer for them to start growing the vines that we're gonna cut and make the slips out of. So you wanna start your sweet potatoes a good three months before they're ready to go outside into your garden. They wanna go into the garden when soil temperature is 60 degrees or higher, the earth, and day temperatures are about in the 80s. They like the heat, so there's no rush, but you never know when your sweet potato is going to pop. These are the same variety. This one is just starting you know, three and a half months later. You just don't know, so start them early. I start them on their side in seed starting mix. Keep the soil moist, keep it damp, don't oversaturate it. There are no holes in here, but you know, what is that, one, two inches right in there? I even started them in a seed flat, seed starting mix. Just put the potato on its side. It doesn't matter which way, buried halfway. Once the slips start, you wanna make sure you're cutting off a good, I don't know, four inch, six inch piece of vine. And the key is to make sure you submerge a place where the leaf meets the stem. That is where the root systems are gonna come out. So these two will go in and I can show you right here that everywhere a leaf met the stem, the roots come out. So these have been in the water now for about a week. In a week you'll get a root system that looks like this. These need to be in the water about two weeks to get a nice root system and then they'll be ready to go outside. When you're growing these indoors, you do have to get the leaves um, used to the sun, so slowly bring them out over a two week period or the leaves will get some burn. However, the vines are really hardy. If you have a good root system, they should be okay. The other tip that's really important is if these are going to be in the water, and these can be in the water two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, whatever you want. As they get taller, you can cut this vine right where there's a leaf, put it in water, and both of them will continue to grow into a sweet potato slip. But there's no fertilizer in here. So once the, the root system looks like this in about a week, put a couple drops or a small pinch of water-soluble fertilizer in there. You don't need a lot, but you want to get some nitrogen in, uh, nitrogen, yeah, nitrogen in there so that these survive and do well, and they'll continue to grow, have nice green leaves. But this is all you really need to do. Sweet potatoes on the side and some seed starting mix give them three months to really get started. Cut the vines when they're four to six inches large, or better said, four to six inches tall, and then give them at least two weeks, three weeks to develop a nice root system, put them out in the ground when the ground's about 60 degrees, and you'll have all the sweet potatoes you want. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com, and thanks so much for watching.